So this is uh, essentially just me going on to um, just a new video about using print statements. So in the last video, I showed you how to use print statements as normal, such as hello world, uh, just print here, and just, just a few other things. We're going to practice making some shapes, and I'm going to show you a few do's and don'ts of printing. So the first shape I'm going to make is a H, a capital H made out of capital H's. So the way I'm going to do this is I'll use one H and then make two spaces and use another capital H. Yep. I'll copy this and paste this. And then I'll copy this, but I won't paste this. Now, because that's four characters long, in order for the bridge to connect of the H, you see in these H's there's a line in the middle. To make that line of H's, we'll need four H's. So we'll need that line to be four H's long. And then I'll copy these and paste these because they'll essentially just be replicated. We'll run that and that should print out a H full of H's. Now, there's a little problem with this. You can see that it's a H, but it just it just kind of isn't you know wide enough. So maybe we'll double this up a bit. Maybe we'll add a couple of H's here. We'll add two H's and we'll add two spaces to each of these to see if that maybe helps it out a little bit. We'll run that and hopefully now that looks more like a H made of H's. Okay, so you can make these kind of simple shapes. If you think of your own shape, you know, it'd be good if you practiced uh, with your own shape, really. Actually, I don't want to get rid of those as such because I'm going to use them later. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll get rid of them. I'll leave them for now. We'll make um, just a quick X made out of X's. So the middle is going to be an X, right? The middle bit is going to be an X. Yeah, it's going to be an X marks a spot. So the middle one has to be an X. But in order to create that space, we're going to need two X's at the top with a space in between. And the other X is going to come underneath this space. And in order to make that, we need to make one space, fill in an X. We don't actually need to print another space. But we could, just so that we can kind of line up where the characters are meeting. Then print once again. X space X. And now you'll see that the characters are lining up there. And this should print out a cross. Hopefully. There we are. It's not so clear, you know. It could be a bit more spaced out but it is a basic cross now there's a few more things you can do with print you actually don't have to print just uh just text it's actually called a string but i'll call it text for now you can actually print out numbers so i can print out 99 i can print out 350 i can print 350 plus 99 using the plus symbol so we'll go ahead and test every single one of those individually 99 350 and this should be 449 and there we are so that's worked now something i can't do here is actually add the string slash the text with a number i'll show you what i mean by that so i can actually do a similar thing you see how this addition here well i can actually add a string onto another string so for example dave with a plus is a funny person right that will now type out the whole of dave is a funny person so what this actually does is it adds whatever text is inside these quotes to whatever text is inside these quotes but as you can see, instead of it saying Dave is a funny person with Dave and then a space and then is, it's come as device 
a funny person. This is because this addition has added this string to the other string literally because the computer isn't that intelligent of its own. It does literally what we tell it to. So we need to either put a space after Dave to replicate that space that we put in a real uh, statement or we put a space before is. I'm going to put the space before is and now when we print it they should be separated. So you just need to be aware of that. I can make uh, other ones. I can print anything. I can print a couple of symbols together and then add another symbol to that symbol for example. Emojis we're doing now it looks like. A few emojis. I can even just print a few spaces you know just 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 to give spacing if I want to and then the word red for example and here we are print that what I cannot do is print something in quotation marks such as Jerry Spronger and a number such as 99. This is because there are two different types of data, right? I can't, I'm not going to go into that now, I'll go into that later, but essentially one of those is one thing and one of those is another. So we can't do that. But what we can do is this. We can put the 99 into brackets and it's a different type of data. I'll expand on this later, but for now that's really all and take care really uh, with this. There's a couple more things I'll go into though actually. So when we use the print statement, if we use it with a capital, it won't work and I'll prove that now. Because the computer doesn't understand the difference or rather this interpreter doesn't understand the difference between print with a lowercase p and print with an uppercase p. It's not a human so it doesn't see them as being the same thing with one difference in a letter. It sees them as completely separate things. Okay. Uh, the other thing is if you miss out a uh, one of them lines, a, a bracket, an, a, a closing bracket or an opening bracket, it won't work. And if you, for example, forget to, uh, oh, what's happened there? If you forget to use quotes, it won't work unless you have what's known as a variable, which again is something we'll get into at a much later date. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope that was useful to you.